blessing and uh, for this uh, uh, the, our situation that God is always uh, providing and uh, I was uh, a bit worried but I thank God that he really answered prayer and then uh, I talked to my wife that uh, I told him I told her that <laughs> so I told her that <laughs> we need to to work hard uh, because uh, uh, my daughters will uh, they are studying now in uh, the school where I'm teaching so it will cost uh, a bit more additional to our budget that's why uh, God gave me an opportunity to to work here at Florida and uh, I told teacher Milka that gave me three to six months the, st <laughs> the student will become scientist <laughs> let them okay so thank God for that privilege opportunity at sana hindi agad matanggal Okay, so just uh, okay. I want you to invite to open your Bible in the book of Habakkuk. <laughs> Habakkuk chapter number three. The last uh, three verses of Habakkuk. Let's read. Uh, maybe let's start in verse 16. Habakkuk 3, 16 to 19. Let's read all together. Habakkuk verse 16. Ready? Read. When I heard my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice, rottenness entered into my bones, and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit of the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat, the flocks shall be cut off, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinged feet. And he will make high places to the cheap singer on my stringed instrument. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, Lord, uh, thank you once again for this time that we can study your word. I pray, Lord, that you will guide us, uh, that the Holy Spirit teach every one of us and understand the truth from thy word. Uh, help us, Lord, to be to trust you, to have faith in you, Almighty God, because uh, uh, we know that uh, you are the only one you are that we can trust and we can uh, we can obey. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. I pray, Lord, that you will guide me as I uh, 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 relay this message to your people and help us, Lord, that in everything we do, we'll give glory to your name. All these things I ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you may be seated. So this book of Habakkuk, it was a. Uh, he started his uh, his statement here in the first chapter of asking God. Remember uh, the, the the one that I preached. He asked God about something. He asked God why it happened, why this happened to their to their uh, nation, and he has lots of question about his situation. But at the end part of of the book of Habakkuk, we can uh, saw that how his uh, faith grew because of he trust the Lord. With uh, uh, even though what 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 circumstances, what uh, situation they have, uh, especially during his time, because they are uh, they were uh, was bondage. They were captured by the Babylonian during that time. But we can see here how he he respond to that problem, to his situation, uh, that he really, really uh, depend on God and he will trust the Lord for 
uh, for his situation. Now, that's what we're going to study at this end part of Habakkuk, the title of the message, The Possibilities in the Life of a Christian. So, our life here on earth is not that... Uh, uh, is not uh, there are many possibilities might happen in our life many people say when uh, you, especially those who are teaching prosperity gospel they saying that if you will become a christian your life will become easy you will become rich you will become a, you, you have a good life and your problem will be banished because of the lord jesus christ you know that teaching is uh, from the devil yeah. it's not uh, what the bible is telling us the bible is clear that even the Lord Jesus Christ, when somebody approached him, I want to follow you, I want to, to, to be your disciple. And Jesus Christ said, okay, you just leave everything, sell all the things that you have, and follow me. And then that man realized that, oh, it's really hard to follow the Lord. So he turned his back to God. He turned his back to the Lord Jesus Christ because he thought that following God will make him uh, more comfortable, make his life easy, make him... Uh, uh, what's secured, but that's not what the promise of God. The promise of God to us is He is always there for us. His grace is always there for us, and He will take care of us and in every situation. So that's what we're going to study here in uh, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Uh, we have three points here. Medyo may silang to. So let's start in Habakkuk uh, 17. It says here, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit in the vines, the labor of the, of the olive shall, fall, shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. We can see here his statement, number one, the greatest material destruction is possible to a Christian. It might happen to us, whatever we have, we, all these things will be gone. So that is the, the, the greatest material destruction is possible to a Christian. Number one, we are surrounded by uncertainties. Everything here in the world is not, uh, uh, is not uh, what do you call that? Uh, yung, uh, na mental block ako. Yung... Uh, Stable, yon, yon. And as I said, okay. Salamat, Pastor. It's not, <laughs> it's not stable. So there are uncertainties might happen to us. We are surrounded by uncertainties. Remember what? Uh, we are not expecting this pandemic that will happen. And we know we, we heard uh, some, because there are many pan, uh, what do you call that diseases that came from. Uh, other countries, especially in China, the SARS, the H1N1, and it's just like ah, it's just uh, when when the COVID came, uh, we are thinking that it's just like uh, like the SARS, like the H1N1. But we are surprised that the effect of that uh, pan, uh, pandemic was was really worldwide. Hindi natin na, na expect na ganun ang We we think that we are we are a Christian, we are serving God these things will not uh, affect us but it really affected us but praise the lord his faithfulness still there even though like what we uh, brother Wilson is uh, uh, his testimony na nagkaroon tayo ng ganong uh, naranasan experience but god is still there providing our needs uh, providing na uh, yung pangangailangan natin that because we know and sure that uncertainties might happen even you are a faithful christian you cannot say that you are a faithful christian your life will become uh, easy and your life will will uh, be uh, yung, so all, all all is uh, joyful all is happy no sadness no that's not uh, will happen because it is not uh, in the bible the bible is clear that if you if you will follow the lord jesus christ be prepared for trials be prepared for temptation sabi nga kapag wala kang naranasang temptation wala kang naranasang trials eh baka hindi hindi tayo kristiyano so ayun po ang uh, ang uh, sigurado the greatest material destruction is possible to every christian we are surrounded by 
uncertainties. This verse also is uh, parallel to Romans chapter 8, 38 to 39, when Paul says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So Paul is stating that all of these things might happen to a Christian. And it happens to him. Uh, when he was serving the Lord, when he is following the Lord, he experienced all these uh, uh, problems, difficulties in serving the Lord, especially when he is preaching uh, the gospel to every, every country. He experienced difficulties, but it will not separate him from the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is not uh, sure that when we follow the Lord Jesus Christ, our life will become easy. So that's uh, what uh, Habakkuk is telling us here. But the sure, uh, sure thing is God is always with us. Even though what situation, what is our uh, uh, circumstances we are experiencing, God is always there. Pleasure and pain are the alternate companions of every man through journey of life. So we are surrounded by uncertainties. You know, wisdom would suggest the propriety of being prepared for calamities which cannot be avoided. So we need to prepare all uh, with, with these things because we know that these uncertainties might happen at any time, at any moment of our life. So we need to be prepared and to be prepared is to be uh, to rely on our savior jesus christ so that's number one we are surrounded by uncertainties and then number two math material things are not our security it is not our security oh uh sabi nga ni habakok dito although he is forecasting the misery although the fig tree shall not blossom. Kahit pa hindi pa mag-blossom yung mga fig tree. Ito yung mga possibilities na mangyayari sa isang kristyano. That all of these material things are not our security. All these are signified the necessaries of life. We need all of this. Which, when they fail, make famine, which is a very distressing case. So it will... If these things will happen, it will really affect us. It will really uh, change what we are doing or uh, change our focus in life. If these material things will be gone, now the, now the, the yung, uh, ang dapat lang natin gawin, we need to be sure if these things are gone, we still focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible is telling us that we need to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We don't need to look on our on what we have, on what we accomplish, on what we are uh, what we are doing, our job. Remember, alam natin na ang ganda ng kung sa trabaho lang maganda yung kalagayan natin sa trabaho, right? At biglang dumating itong pandemic at yun halos lahat tayo na wala ng trabaho at naapektuhan tayo because Material things are not our security. Kaya nga hindi ay, hindi ko po sinasabing wag wag tayong mag-ipon o wag tayong wag nating isipin yung yung uh, future natin kasi nasa Bible din yan eh. Sinabi nga ni Solomon, tinan mo yung mga langgam, di ba? Maging katulad maging katulad kayo ng mga wise sila na nag-iipon sila sa panahon ng tag-araw at pag tag-ulan na, meron silang makakain ganun din pero wag nating ilagay yung ating uh, De, 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 uh, yung ating uh, security sa mga bagay na uh, sa mga material na bagay o yung ating natapos halimbawa ikaw ay uh, marami kang pinag-aralan you are a master of many things you are you study you become a master doctorate and then if you got sick can you can you use it Hindi mo na magagamit yun because that's not our security. Remember, material things are not our security. And then number three, material things are temporary. It is easy to understand how souls should in poverty and great difficulty be induced to seek after God. Indeed, the urge of want more frequently drives men to Him than the enjoyment of plenty draws them. So it means that if we don't have anything, it, uh, it will help us to come to God 
So we need to approach the Lord and we don't need to, to love all these things because all of these things are temporary. In 1 John chapter 2, 15 to 17, sabi sa 1 John 2, 15, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So the Bible is clear that all these things are temporary. We don't need to focus our... Uh, our uh, give our time our talent and our everything for these material things to achieve because there are many people they really want to to spend their time to to get to to reach their goal in life to have a house and lot hindi po masama magkaroon ng house and lot ako pangarap ko yan magkaroon ng house and lot at malapit na rin siguro pag ano so, hindi po masama maghangat ng gana pero uh, un uh, unless na it will not uh, change uh, yung hindi ka madidistract ng mga bagay na ito. But we need to understand that all ma these material things are all temporary. We need to, sabi nga ng Bible na don't focus all your effort and your time in these things because it is temporary. We need to, uh, to focus on the things uh, which are not seen because those things which are not seen are eternal. So that is the first thing Habakkuk is telling us that this greatest material destruction is possible to a Christian. Although what, what do you have today? What uh, uh, your, your health, your talent, your uh, yung kayamanan mo, pwede yung mawala. Pwede alisin ng Panginoon yan. At kaya hindi dapat natin, we don't need to put all our trust in those things. But we need to trust the Lord and the Lord will take care of all those things. And then number two, in verse 18. Sabi ni Habakkuk dito, Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. See, he stated in the first part that the, all, although these things might happen, this is his... Uh, he forecast the misery, but in verse 18, number two, the highest spiritual joy is possible to a Christian. It is possible to us to have that joy in life. Apo, uh, Habakkuk says here, Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yung yet done, it was a, for lace, the remedy. This is the remedy. So, I, mean, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will join the God of my salvation. It is a spiritual joy. It's a free, full, and overflowing stream that takes its rise in the very depth of the divine essence, in the immutab immutability, perfection, abundance, munificence uh, of the divine nature. It is the joy of the highest contemplation. The joy of contemplation are amongst the most pure and elevating which intelligent cre creature can experience this rise in the character according to to their subject the highest subject is god his attribute and his work you know although these things might happen to us although sabi nga ni habakok na kahit mawala pa yang mga yan at hindi maganap it will not happen all the things that we are expecting for example, we are expecting something and it will not happen. But uh, Habakkuk says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. We can attain those spiritual joy when we are in the Lord we, and we are trusting in the Lord. Letter A, joy in anticipated trials. We know that trials will come, but sometimes we are not anticipating it. But if we are with the Lord, if we are trusting in God, there is joy and peace in our heart the prophet heard of the gloomy future so one support after another fail yet his hope brightens and joy increases as sorrows multiply because he saw what happening to to israel during his time but even though he has uh, like what i've told you he has lots of question he has uh, all of these things are uh, uh, putting in his mind but 
at the end he said i will trust the lord you can see his joy even though in the midst of problem there is joy in his life like us uh, if you really a true christian whatever might happen to us uh, like what here in our in the church we experience difficulty i think this is the saddest part uh, we experience as a, as a church but at the at the end of the day uh, <laughs> at the end of the day <laughs> so we we still have joy we still have peace in our heart that we know that god is in control we know that god is uh moving we know god is teaching us god is reminding us god is uh uh uh, helping us in this uh, situation still there's a joy there's joy in anticipate anticipated trials and also there's joy in present affliction there's joy in present affliction although we are experiencing all of these things you are in the midst of the problem there is still joy in us because of the lord jesus christ only god can give that joy that uh that we'll, uh, we'll, we will go out when it comes, uh, when we are experiencing difficulties in our affliction. I don't know if you experience during your problem, you have a, a bad situation, you are, you are uh, you're, uh, experiencing these circumstances in life that's not good. But still, so the, 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 the Word of God, the Holy Spirit within us is giving us comfort enjoy that we know this all this thing will come to pass it will be gone it's it will not stay like what we are experiencing we we are thinking that parang kailan ba tumatatapos parang araw-araw nahihirapan tayo na to torture yung isip natin but god is really uh, faithful uh, and um, god is still giving us joy coming to the church having fellowship still the joy is there even though we are in the we have uh, in the midst of the problem and then remember and also the last joy in eternal duration our joy is for eternity if the soul be immortal its happiness must be durable as its nature because we know that the soul is eternal the joy must be durable at its nature the world and all in it will perish the man of the world deeply regrets loss in trial but the christian rejoices in god those who enjoy god in all things can enjoy all things in god so we need to remember that this joy that we have will last forever it will uh, it will not just a temporary joy and remember joy is different from happiness and we know happiness is just a temporary uh, like you are excited you are you are grateful but joy is uh, different Sometimes when you are uh, joyful, tears will come to your eyes and then you realize the goodness of God is uh, really uh, is there that, uh, uh, that uh, comfort us. And like in Psalm 4, 7, Psalm 4, 7 says, Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increase so god put gladness in our heart and in isaiah 61 verse 10 says here i will greatly rejoice in the lord my soul shall be joyful in my god for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation he hath covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with her Jewels. And also in Isaiah 41, 16, it says here, thou shalt, uh, thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. All this verse is telling us that we can have that joy in the midst of problem. So uh, it's up to us it, if we want to enjoy God we need to rely on the lord we need to have fellowship with him because that's the secret without if we don't have fellowship with god like intimate fellowship with the lord jesus christ we will not experience this joy in the midst of problem in the midst of of this situation so we saw here 
that greatest material destruction is possible to us Christian and then number two the highest spiritual joy is possible to us and then number three last the highest spiritual joy in the midst of the greatest material destruction is possible to a Christian so even though we are experiencing these difficulties we can really enjoy with God so that's why if a Christ if you will see a Christian that is so sad Kaya nga pag sinabing, but ang mga Kristiyano sobrang simangot? Di ba dapat hindi tayo nakasimangot? Although may time na talagang nakakalungkot, pero when you realize the goodness of God, God, it will give joy to us. We can really have joy. We, have, we can have this highest spiritual joy even though in the midst of greatest material destruction in our life. Sabi nga ni... Uh, Habakkuk dito, although every material blessing is gone, he said, I will rejoice. Kahit pa mawala ang lahat ng ito, I will still rejoice in God. So you can see the joy in his heart. Kahit sila makonquer, kahit sila maging alipin, nandun pa rin yung kaligayahan niya sa puso. Ayan ang conclusion niya dito sa kanyang uh, sinulat. Christians have always been enabled to do so. Like Paul, they have gloried in tribulation. Sabi ni Paul, ako ay uh, na masaya dahil uh, ako kahit sa kabila ng tribulation na dinaranas ko, nandun pa rin yung kasayahan. Diba? Like Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Paul stated that he he wrote that 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 statement when he was in prison. So it's really hard to 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 do this, but if we are really a true Christian, if we are really relying on God, we can do it. We can uh, have this highest spiritual joy even though we are experiencing this problem in our life. So, the prophet now openly declares the source of his joy and strength and predicts the safety and moral elevation of his people. In language borrowed from scripture, he expresses the all-sufficiency of God the hope of support in trouble, complete deliverance from the enemy, and undisturbed possession of the land. So we can see here, letter A, that God is our strength in weakness. He is our strength in our weakness. The Lord God is my strength, he says here. Sa, 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 sa verse 18, the Lord God, uh, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will join the God of my salvation, and verse 19, the Lord God is my is strength so strength to bear trials and to triumph in conflict neither spiritual nor military soldiers can do exploit in weakness the christian is only a hero and the secret spring of his courage only in god if he strengthens nothing can weaken the lord is the strength of my life if god is the source of our strength nobody can uh, uh, weaken us because God is uh, strong. God, even though we are, sabi ni Paul, you are cast down but not destroyed. We are uh, parang pinahirapan pero nandun pa rin tayo. Because they cannot destroy those strength that comes from God that, that we have in our life. So, and then God is our safety in danger. He is our safety in danger. He will deliver us from our enemy. In uh, Psalm 18, verse 17, Psalm 18, uh, 17, He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. So we realize that our enemy is really strong, but God is stronger than them. Amen. You know, our greatest enemy is the devil. Really, the devil is stronger than us, but we have the Holy Spirit, which is all-powerful, the Almighty God that is within us. So we are, uh, God is safety in our danger. He deliver us from the enemy. And He will deliver us for the pursuit of the enemy. Even though the enemy will keep on uh, coming, they, God will protect us. And he, will, he is the security from our enemy. So He will secure us from our enemy. So that is what Habakkuk is stating us. So even all these things will be gone 
it is possible it might happen to us that everything will be gone the, uh, the things that we have will be gone and even though these things will be gone we can still enjoy the the joy of the Lord so the, the, the lesson that we can see here that the wrath of God is as much reality as the love of God it's the same that the destruction of God's enemy is as sure as is the salvation of his friends that in both God will be glorified whatever it is even God will destroy the enemies and God gives salvation to 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 his friends and to his people God will always be glorified because God do everything to glorify him and um, you know our life on earth is filled with uncertainties we cannot rely on our strength on our knowledge on things that we have because all of these are temporary all of this will be gone we must rely and depend on God in whatever situation we have sabi nga ni Paul in every whatever state I am I learned to be content I know how to be a base I know how to be abound so we experienced that before we are we are abounding and now we are abasing abasing <laughs> Now, but God, may maisip ano na doon eh. Sorry, Milka. Hindi naman science yun eh, science. So, whatever situation, we need to rely on God. In that, we can have, if we, if we rely on and depend on God, in that, we can have the real joy that comes from God. In Philippians 4.12, we will end in this verse. Philippians 4.12 says here, I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere in, and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry both to abound and to suffer need so I hope this uh, short uh, message will encourage us that and also remind us that we don't need to to rely on what we have we need to rely on God and although we can experience this problem, although we can experience these difficulties, we can still have joy because our joy comes from the Lord. God bless and let's uh, come to the Lord in prayer. Our Father in heaven, Lord, thank you.